Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Let's Learn Premiere Pro. Today we're going to talk about Yosemite and El Capitan and this is basically a public service announcement to every editor or anyone that feels like they need to upgrade on the first pass. I'm going to tell you right now you should not be upgrading to the latest OS if you work in Premiere every single day and your job and income depend on it. This is because you're going to run into a hell of a lot of headaches and spend more time than you'd really like to doing troubleshooting instead of just editing your content and getting it out the door. I know that Al Capitan has a lot of great features, but when you do that, you're going to run into issues like this, which just looks awful. This is a horrible glitch that's happening when you upgrade to Al Capitan and then try and launch a project in Premiere Pro 2015. It's mainly caused by graphic driver issues, and that's something that you just have to wait for NVIDIA to update. But why go through the horror of looking at this and trying to figure out what's wrong with your footage instead of just staying back one version and being happy. You can see here that just on October 1st, NVIDIA sent out a new graphics driver to hopefully fix this issue. Now I don't know if this is fixed it or not, but why be the one that's basically the guinea pig for the rest of the community? Let someone else do that. Let the early adopters do that. Just sit back, wait for a few revisions, wait for El Capitan to get to like, you know, 10.11.5, wait for a few graphic and CUDA updates from NVIDIA, and then when you know that all the bugs in the forum have been squashed, then upgrade. The big takeaway from this episode is basically wait before you upgrade because you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches. An example is we at Phantom Media, we are a full year behind on upgrading our OSs. We just upgraded to Yosemite and we were on Mavericks for a full year before that. It just saves you a lot of headaches and it allows you to do the research that you need to do to make sure that when you do upgrade, you're not going to have the same problems that everyone else has had. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll be sure to reply to them. Thanks and see you soon.